Hi there guys, so in this video we will see how you can create child themes of any theme. Um, so uh, we'll start with the classic themes and then we'll go to the block themes, the newer uh, version of themes. So the classic themes, if you have any theme installed such as what I have right now is 2020 theme. And I'm just gonna switch to my blog, uh, code editor and then go to the themes folder and we have this folder 2020. The standard is you create a new folder with the same name as the parent theme such as 2020 and then separate it with a hyphen child and then the only required uh, file here is um, style.css right and then we'll just basically use the comments the theme header to Create the theme header and the required uh, tags here are theme name that could be anything you want maybe let's call it 2020 child and then the second important uh, and the required uh, uh, tag is um, tem template template will be the um, slug for the parent theme so that is 2020 uh, as I know it already 2020 so this is the slug 2020 now if you were to save it you will see that here it will appear as you can see 2020 child and that's all it requires this is now considered as the child theme of 2020 but if you want to change everything such as the author name etc you can take a look at uh, child theme uh, docs uh, on wordpress i'll link this down in the video so that uh, you can check into it in detail so this is the theme header you can also add separately this will also have all the author details etc version numbers so. okay so um uh, so that's it now what if you want to uh, activate it and then use it so when you activate it let's take a look at the front end right now this is the front end right now and and then it will you'll see when when we activate this it will lose its styles as you can see it doesn't have the styles anymore so to handle that we will have to create sorry not new folder we'll have to create the functions.php template and then we'll have to add the um, styles of the uh, parent key so to do that what you need to do is um, enqueue the styles of the parent and uh, let's see how that is done what you do is I uh, hook into the WP NQ scripts hook um, WP NQ scripts and then you can either create a separate function or just call an anonymous function right there like this okay so just use the WP NQ style and then give it a name sorry for the warnings here that is just my um error uh, lens uh, this shows warnings such as that everywhere all right um so name it child theme or anything you want just make sure that it doesn't conflict with any other uh, names out there available in the sites all right and then the second parameter is your um dependency array which we can we've uh, actually not second parameter is the source that is the source of the um uh, style uh, styles css uh, style sheet so how do you do that is by calling get template directory uri a function and then uh, separating that uh concatenation use concatenations uh, and, and then separate that with the um style.css which should be in the parent uh, theme of this uh, theme right and the last required parameter is the dependency array but now you want to save it you'll see that it doesn't work that is because we will also need to do one thing that is use training slash it that is to make sure that there isn't any training slashes at the end of this uh, URL right yes you can see it is now rendering in its full glory uh, aka with styles 
so that's about it for um, the basics of creating a child theme and then you can modify any template of this parent theme such as the uh, footer let's say we want to modify the footer so what we'll do is basically copy this and then paste it here okay now we have that in our child theme so you might see here powered by wordpress that is not um, editable by default in the 2020 theme what you can do is when you have copied it you can go into the code and check for powered by wordpress and then you can say uh made with you know name change anything you want so i'm just gonna call it made with wordpress right and then you'll see this changes right away so yeah that's how you um create a child theme uh, for the classic themes um i mean this will work the same way uh, for the block themes as well, but then you only the only difference you'll have is copying the theme dot JSON, uh, which in 2023, if you were to look at 2023 theme, the latest uh, full site admin theme, you'll see this theme dot JSON. The only difference is you have to um, have this in the child theme, and then uh, move any block you want to change in that uh, particular uh, theme dot JSON. So there's one more way uh, onto how you can create a child theme. So let's look into that. Let's activate our parent theme back. And then uh, let's install this plugin. It's called child theme configurator. Yes, there it is. Child theme configurator by uh, Lila Media. Okay, hit activate. And then you'll see in the appearance, uh, all right, it's not coming there. Yeah, it's in the tools and then child themes. You'll see this parent child section and then it says create a new child theme or configure an existing child theme. So, so if you have already created the basic folders and the um, required, not all the stuff, but it's not working properly. You can use these methods such as configure an existing child theme, duplicate an existing child theme, etc. Uh, but for um, for most cases, when you want to just create a new child theme, you create and select this create a new child theme, and then select the theme you want to change. Uh, you want to create the child theme for such as which we want to create as uh, we want to create it for 2022 theme, right? Let's analyze this. Uh, because the preview did not render. Okay, okay, okay. So this can be ignored. And then you can um, check what the directory name will be. You can change this if you want, but this is the standard naming convention for child themes. Um, so this will also have a few other uh, toggles, which you can leave them be if you don't know what they are. But if you know, you can change them as you wish. Um, so yeah, let's just click on create new child theme. And uh, this did create the child theme as you can see here, 2022 child. Um, here it is, 2022 child. This is our child theme. This is the child theme in 2022. As you can see, it copied everything. Not uh, exactly everything, but the theme headers and everything. Uh, so if you were to now see, we have the 2022 child here activated, right? You'll see it works just like the 2022 theme without even doing anything. And then you can look into it here as well. In the code editor, you will see here that it copied the functions, uh, the required function uh, hooks, etc., um, such as the parent theme style sheet and queuing, and then the style sheet header, and then the screenshot that uh, from the parent theme. So that's it. Uh, this is how you create a child theme for any WordPress theme that may be being a classic theme or the block theme. Uh, so you have to have a bit more knowledge about the block themes in terms of theme.json editing. But uh, that is also covered in this uh, theme.json theme .json, um, block editor. Just search here and then you'll see this uh, WordPress uh, docs for everything, right? I'll also link this down below so you know how to use this all right thank you for watching this video have a great day